We're sitting on the river here making primitive stuff and I thought about survival in general. Something that you want to take into account with regards to survival is if you can communicate or get rescued, you're never in a, in a survival situation to begin with. So when you look at your priorities and look at communication as a priority and something that you need in your arsenal, you can protect yourself from being in a survival situation. Then you can go like me right now and do this because it's fun, not because you're starving to death and gonna die in the backcountry somewhere. So what I wanna to talk today about is how to run a signal mirror. It's one of the, the easiest ways uh, that I've ever seen. And a, a lot of people get a little bit confused with signal mirrors, they think they're super complicated. And that's because they use the refraction mirror here in the center but there's an easier way to do this. So, if first off, you can't run a signal without some light. You gotta have some light. I've got these little beams of light here. I'm gonna grab one of these little beams of light. Secondly, the key is getting the light from your mirror to the airplane above. How do you know you're hitting the airplane? Well, right here, I can tell I'm hitting the lens because I can see what it's being reflected on, but I can't see what it's being reflected on when it's going up to an airplane, all right? So what I do is I shine this on the back of my hand. Y'all can see my hand is being lit up right here, all right? So as I stick my hand out, I make a V, and that is my front sight post, right? My shooting sight post. So I make my shooting sight post come up like this, all I have to do is run that, that signal or that mirror reflection up the back of my hand and I know that it's hitting you. Okay, or I can run it sideways, right between the two. Okay, up and down. So, it's really that simple. If you see an airplane, you wanna hit that airplane, you make sure you got light coming to your to your 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 mirror. You put your fingers and, and if you want to get more accurate, you go lower part of your finger. You put your fingers nice and low. I'm gonna turn this so you can see it. Okay. Nice and low, and you just shine back and forth, up and down, back and forth. Right? And that's gonna go flash, flash, flash. Just like this. So if I can hit it, boom, 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 just like that. Okay? It's that simple. It's really that easy. Put the light on the back of your hand, put your hand on the target, run the light up and down that area, and you will hit it. Try not to be too low. Try to get it by your face if you can, or right here in the chest I like to do. That way you can guarantee that the beam's going through it and not just catch it on the back of your hand. The way that these actually work, the way that you're supposed to use them, is you're supposed to stick your eyeball right here, and then look up at the sun, okay? And you're gonna have this little beam of light that will reflect in here. That is the, the place that the beam is shooting at, okay? And it's, it doesn't really work unless I put it up against an eyeball. So I'll try to get the camera and see if we can make this work. But essentially I have this little bright beam of light that's being reflected back to my eye and I can use that on the camera. So if you do wanna use this without my two finger technique, just look in the back of it and then just run it up, run that beam right against the camera and you're good to go. All right, so if we get the back of this, this little light here, and I'll show you this little hologram if I can find it with the lens. See that beam of light right there? In the real world, that's that reflection. Inside of this thing, it's a hologram, okay? And that hologram is what you're gonna see reflecting back. So if you're not using your two fingers, what you need to do to shoot your beam at something is to find that bright spot while you've got your eye up there nice and close and shoot it at whatever it is that you're trying to hit, be that your airplane or whatever. I didn't think I could do this with a camera, but I did. Very outstanding. All right, this has been How to Use a Signal Mirror by Tyler White. Thank you for watching. Go catch me some fish.